Okay, this is an update on the unregulated power supply exciter, and this is the updated circuit diagram I'm using. And uh, the changes I've made is I put a 100k uh, pot here and a 470 picofarad capacitor from base to emitter. And uh, if you're going to use a wall adapter, make sure you use uh, one of these inductors. It's a large uh, actual inductor, and uh, the wire is wound uh, in like a coil, and uh, it only works with one of these. But today I've made a test circuit and I'm going to use one of these small uh, 10 microhenry jokes which we used on the 15.3 sex from Dr. Stifler and uh, I've got it working with one of those and the reason that I'm doing this today is I'm trying to find out the mode of operation and I think I know why it works and how it works. Now I'll just go through the circuit here on the breadboard with you. Uh, there's the transistor, I'm using a BC182 uh, it will work uh, this circuit today with an MPSA06. This is the 470 picofarad capacitor from base to emitter. We've got a 24K resistor from collector to base. The 10 microhenry choke, and that's going from the base to uh, an Avramenko plug, and then going into a 9 LED string, and then the uh, return from the Avramenko plug is here, which is a 4148 diode. Now, for this to work, you have to put a crocodile lead on the output of the inductor or the start of the uh, Avramenko plug and it just dangles there and it needs that uh, I don't know why it needs that but it needs it as like uh, some kind of top load and I've also got another crop lead as a virtual ground and that's on the very last LED negative leg so uh, that's that circuit diagram and uh, I'm going to investigate uh, how this works and the reason why it works I think is it works on a uh, the waveform input if it has a ripple on it uh, it works it will switch the transistor on and off now the voltage waveform from a battery is basically a flat line now from an adapter or a DC motor generator it's going to be like this so the transistor will be on here and then it will switch off on off and so on and I can show you that now because what I've got here is a, uh, an old clockwork radio which I blew up and if I connect the inputs to that in fact I'll just show you with a battery first and the lights don't work with a battery so that's the uh, there's no ripple on the signal so it's not working so if I change to this generator and I crank it the lights come on Now, if I put a smoothing capacitor across this, now that will get rid of the ripple and the lights don't come on. Now, another interesting thing is if I get rid of this DC motor and change it for an AC stepper motor, very good at doing things with my fingers. Now if I spin that by my hand the lights flash. Now that's because the signals like this so it's on and off, on, off and so on. Now that leads to some possibilities maybe we could actually run this directly from the mains but I'm not brave enough to try that. Now if I connect a drill to this and get the thing in So that's basically how it's working. It's working on a, uh, a waveform input which has a ripple on it. So I think I'll call this the ripple exciter from now on because uh, it works on uh, undulating input current. Okay, thanks for watching.